Welcome dear audience students and scholars here, I am Dr. Ramjad Ali, dear scholars, so far as we have discussed about the government debt and budget deficit and we have highlighted some of the measurement issues in government debt and we have highlighted uh, that uh, uh, the traditional view of uh, government debt and the Ricardian view of uh, government debt. In this video, we are going to discuss a case study, a George Bush withholding experiment. Introduction. Dear scholars, in early 1992, President George H. W. Bush pursued a novel policy to deal with the uh, lingering uh, recession uh, in the United States. By executive order, he lowered the amount of income taxes that were being withheld from workers' paychecks. The order did not reduce the amount of taxes that workers owned, it merely delayed payment. The higher uh, take home pay that workers uh, received during 1992 was to be offset by higher uh, tax payments or smaller tax refunds uh, when income tax was due in April 1993. So here we have one of the main questions to answer what effect would you predict for uh, this uh, policy. According to the logic of Ricardian equivalence, consumers should uh, realize that their uh, lifetime resources were unchanged and therefore save the extra take home pay to meet the upcoming tax liability. Yet George Bush claimed his policy would provide uh, money people uh, can use to help pay for uh, uh, clothing, college or to get a new car. That is, he believed that consumer would spend the extra income thereby stimulating aggregate demand and helping the economy recover from the recession. Bush seems to be assuming that consumers were uh, short-sighted or uh, faced uh, binding borrowing constraints. Okay, moving towards the further explanation about uh, the answer of uh, this uh, question, uh, giving uh, the actual effects of this policy is difficult with aggregate data because many other things were happening at the same time. Yet some evidence uh, comes from a survey two economists conducted shortly after the policy was announced. The survey asked people what they would do with the extra income. 57% of the respondents uh, said uh, they would uh, save it, use it to repay the debts or adjust their uh, withholding in order to uh, reverse the effects of Bush executive order. 43% said they would uh, spend the extra income. That's why this policy change, a majority of population was planning to act as Ricardian theory posits. Nonetheless, Bush was partly right. Many people planned to spend the extra income even though they understood that the following year's tax bill would be higher. So this is all about the case study George Bush with the holding experiment. So see you with another video. Ciao.